Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Casino DLC video. My name is Saints Fan, and this is 15 things that you probably didn't know about the Casino DLC. One of the big complaints with this DLC is the fact that you got to walk everywhere. You can't run inside of the casino. Well, I'm not going to show you guys how to run because that's impossible, but you can walk a little bit faster to get to places a little bit quicker. It's not a, like a crazy big thing, but it is just going to make things maybe a little bit easier to actually do this. I think there's two ways. Number one, there we're just walking normally right here. If you hold down the A button or the X button, like the, you know, the run button, you can see my guy. He's now moving at a, a quicker pace. Again, it's kind of like it's kind of minor. I'm going to let go of A and you'll see. Well, let me get off of the steps. We're going to go straight this way. We're walking at a quick pace. I'm holding the button down. I'm going to stop holding the button and it's just kind of at a slower pace. So holding down the A button does walk a little bit faster. The other way is also going into first person. Uh, for some reason, you walk faster in first person. So just walking around in first person, you're going to go a little bit quicker. So those are some ways that you can maybe get around your casino just a lot. Well, maybe not even a lot quicker, but just a little quicker. Some minor things. Next up is the coins. We're going to walk over here to the cashier and purchase some coins. People were wondering, how many coins can I purchase or when can I purchase them? It's actually 50,000 coins every 48 minutes, which is an in-game day. People on my stream were telling me it's every 20 minutes, but it seems like it's every 48 minutes. So it's every day in-game that you can get new coins. Also, regarding coins, some people were like, how does this make any sense that this whole casino chip system works if we can buy it with money because we can buy that money with real life money. We can use shark cards to purchase in-game money. Well, it turns out Rockstar sort of thought this through. This is what someone saw. I'll throw up the wording, the box on the screen. It basically states that shark card money cannot be used to purchase the casino chips. I guess when you purchase a shark card, that money gets flagged and Rockstar knows, all right, this person has $8 million worth of money from the shark card. Well, you're not going to be able to use any of that $8 million to buy the casino chip. So it's only money you earn in game. Or I guess if you're trying to be a little slick, modded money. Next up, we're talking about the lucky wheel. You can see I've already spun it. It says at the top left, you can only spin it once per day. Play again tomorrow. Well, if you do want a chance to spin it, you can definitely go on your secondary character. You know, you can go to start online, swap character, go to your secondary character and come spin it. Now, unfortunately, whatever you win isn't going to really be applied to you because if you win like the vehicle it's on your secondary character. But if you just want the thrill of winning something, uh, you can do that. But one thing specifically I want to mention, or a couple things specifically I want to mention regarding this, you can see the vehicle. That obviously is that bad boy right there. If you win that vehicle, immediately take it to Los Santos Customs and put insurance on it. I don't know why Rockstar couldn't provide insurance when you actually won it, but I've seen quite a few people complain on Twitter because they won this, and then they go outside... And it gets blown up because, you know, there's an impression mark two people and Deluxo people and all kind of people out there trying to blow you up. And they're like, where to go? It's not my Moore's Mutual. They lost it because they did not put insurance. It's something the game doesn't really tell you so I can understand their frustration. But make sure if you get this vehicle, if you happen to win it, just any of these vehicles, you got to put insurance on it. One of the other things regarding this wheel is the mystery prize people were questioning what exactly do we get in the mystery prize you can see there's it at the bottom i think we don't know exactly everything you can get in it but from what i've seen it's basically just completely random as to what some person got a vehicle that's what you're seeing here his person he got like a rocket voltic i believe or something like that but then this next person literally just got a pack of Redwoods. He literally just got some cigarettes. So it's completely random. The mystery thing is that it's a mystery. 
So if you were wondering, I've also seen people get like some piss washer, I believe, from it. So yeah, it's it's nothing. It's probably gonna be nothing too great. Now let's talk about the casino missions. So the casino missions, you can see on my mini map, it says A, B. You're gonna have to walk around this place, try and find your way, and make your way to the management section. I believe it is somewhere back here. And uh, once you get them working, because they were kind of bugged, uh, they have been kind of bugged for the last 24 hours or so, there are six of them. And in them, there's a couple things I just want to mention. And we tested this on my stream yesterday, so this is how I know. Number one in the missions, you don't actually need to use the vehicles that are provided. For instance, one of the missions requires you to chase after people on bicycles or bikes, I guess. Like, I think it's the Hakatu drag. It was pretty difficult because those people just, they ram into you and you start flying all over the place and you end up dying. Simply just call your Oppressor Mark II or make sure your Oppressor Mark II or one of your armored vehicles is your personal vehicle before you actually start the mission. And then you can just simply get off the bike and use the vehicle that you brought. So that's a lot easier than actually completing the mission with the ones they've given. Also, again, I know this because I, on stream this happened. When you do the missions for the first time, you get an extra bonus. And if you complete all six of the casino missions for the first time, then you get $950,000. You basically get $50,000 for the first couple of missions, and then you get $700,000 for the final one so it all adds up to about a million dollars for free for completing those missions and then the final thing regarding the missions and it's kind of going to be like this vehicle here if you complete the missions as the host unfortunately you do have to be the host you will unlock a paragon armored so if i go to the website you can see we have the normal paragon which is 900k however don't buy that because if you just complete the six missions as the host, you get an armored version of this, which it's armored, so it's better. It looks the exact same, but the armored version, I believe, has a better engine sound and it's slightly faster in terms of performance. So the armored version just, it's better. But again, the problem, much like this vehicle, if you get it, apparently the game doesn't put insurance on it. And my friend actually had this happen to him. We went out, got blown up, and uh, turns out he lost it. So make sure you put insurance on the Paragon as well. One cool feature that was added that actually lets you have basically another vehicle out in the world. If you go to your contacts and then you call Agatha Baker again, when she answers, there will be a vehicle menu. So it says car service and you can actually request any of these six vehicles. We're gonna request the Dubsta, and it'll literally spawn right next to me. Well, I guess not right next to me. It'll spawn down the street a little bit, but now we have a Dubsta, and you can see my oppressor on the minimap is over there. So people are, so you can basically get, I think up to six personal vehicles out at once, if you include helicopters and all the other stuff. Plus this is also good if you're trying to look for Dubstas, because I don't believe you can take this to your garage. I guess well you can try. I don't actually have the garage over here, but regardless, you can get some extra vehicles, maybe for like friends or something. While we're out here in the parking lot, make sure you lock your cars, go to your interaction menu and go to vehicles and make sure the vehicle access is either set to passengers or like friends or something, or even no one. Make sure it's not set to everyone. The reason, if you don't take your vehicle to this back part, like if you don't bring it into the garage that the casino provides, well, what'll end up happening, it'll park it out here, which is a kind of cool feature. You can see my oppressor, I didn't do that. It just was parked out here. And then this person over here has a, it's the Hermes. That's just parked in the parking lot. That's really cool. But what ends up happening, and I've done this a few times because I think it's really funny. If we try and uh, take their car. Now, see, this person's smart. They don't have or they didn't give me access. But there's been a lot of people that have just left their cars out opened and I've taken them. Like people with oppressors, their oppressors, they just leave them open. I drive them to somewhere else and it's, I don't know. It's just kind of a thing. 
So make sure your stuff's locked, moral of the story. One thing, not necessarily regarding casinos, but just to get an idea of what to expect with a Twitch Prime promotion. If we take a look at the Warstock page, this is the Scramjet. Normally, the buy it now price is like 4.8 million. I believe I have the trade price. That's why it says 3.4. But from 4 point something million to 800,000, that's a 75% discount. And if you're actually wanting to buy this, and this is a fantastic car, I would highly recommend buying it if you don't have it and you have that discount. I believe that only lasts until today or like until the weekend. It doesn't last too long, that discount. But that just is maybe an example of the Twitch Prime discounts that we're going to see in the future. Much like the nightclub, if you come over here to the bar, you can actually pass out from drinking. We're going to order a drink. And because I think we own the place or we bought the penthouse, we have the Macbeth whiskey shot for free. So we're going to go ahead and take it. And this is the shot that you only need one of, and it will knock you out. And I've not actually done this, but we're going to see what exactly happens. From what I've seen, though, by the way, she didn't even pour that. That was unacceptable. One of the possibilities that could happen when you pass out is actually spawning up in Sandy Shores or just various places around the map. And if you get that, then... Agatha Baker, I believe she calls you and she'll actually give you 5,000 casino chips to like come back or something. So you may want to play with this. If you have some free time, you may want to knock yourself out a couple times and spawn. Let's see if we spawn inside the casino or if we're going to be somewhere out in the world. So we're somewhere out in the world. And I don't know if this, I don't, I don't know how rare it is to actually get the extra casino chips and it's, it's only 5,000. So it's not like it's a ton. But we'll wait a second here. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's happening. But yeah, so that's just something you can do in the casino, just like you could do in the nightclub. And I know probably no one's going to call me naturally. They call me whenever I'm not recording a million times. But one thing that, and I don't know if this was added just in this last update or if it's just something I just figured out and it's been in the game for forever. But certain phone calls, when like the contacts, the NPCs, when they call you, you can't actually like hit B to hang up. You have to listen all the way through, but you can actually hang up with them. So if you get a phone call, all you need to do is hit the start button and boom, your phone call is now over. So if anyone ever calls you, just hit the start button, boom, that's it. Phone call ended. And then the final thing that was actually put in the patch notes, and this probably doesn't matter to a ton of people, especially now that the casino's out, but I figured I'd mention it. The nightclub popularity missions, they actually give give you 25% popularity instead of only 10%. So basically to fill up the bar, you only need to do four popularity missions if anyone still cares about that. So that is 15 things that you might not have known about the Diamond Casino DLC. If I find any more things that uh, are cool, I will of course make another video and share them with you guys. But thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA online content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.